Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the last video on the perimeter and area of polygons. First up, number one, the area of ABCD is 24, AB and CD are equal to each other, and AC and BD are equal to each other. And here we see that AC is 3, so BD has to be 3. How long is AD, which looks like it's the diagonal of this rectangle? We know it's a rectangle because all the sides are equal, and this is a right angle. So since this looks like the hypotenuse of this right triangle, what we need to do is find out what CD is. And we know CD is 8 because the area of ABCD is 24. If that's the case, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared, so 3 squared, plus B squared, which is 8 squared, 64 is equal to c squared, which is the hypotenuse, which we're looking for. Since that's the case, 9 plus 64 is 73 equals c squared, and c is equal to the square root of 73. What is the area of triangle ABC? Well, if these two angles are 60, we know this angle has to be 60, because the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. If that's the case, this is an equilateral triangle which means that all these sides are equal to 4, since AC is 4. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, so we need to find the height of this triangle. Since that's the case, let's drop a perpendicular line from this vertex down to the base. We know this is a right angle, so let's bring this out here. Right angle, A, B, and this is that midpoint we're working with of AC. We know this is 4, we know this is 60, which means this has to be 30. 30, 60, 90 triangles. If we know the hypotenuse is 4, we know the side opposite 30 should be half that. And that means that we know that this leg has to be 2 times root 3, which means we know the height now. So 1 half base, which is 4, times the height, which is 2 root 3. These cancel out. So we're left with 2 times 2 root 3, which is equal to 4 root 3. Number 3. What is the area of ABCD? We know AB is parallel to CD. We know BC is parallel to AD. AB is equal to CD. And we know AD is equal to BC. All right. Well, we know the base or uh, the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So we have base, 21. All we need to do is figure out the height. The height is just a perpendicular line drop down from B to the base. So if we pull that out here, we have A. We know this side is 10. We know this is B. And this is a point down below on the base. We know that this angle here is 30, which means this angle is 60. And if that's the case, we know the hypotenuse is 10, which means the side opposite 30 has to be half that, which is 5. So since we know this is 5, that's the height. So base times height is 5 times 21, which is equal to 105. Moving on to number 4. Here we have A, B, C, D, B, C, 10. AB of 6, CD is 6, BC and AD are parallel, and we have interior angles of 30 degrees. What is the area of this shape? Well, this looks like it's a trapezoid. So, if we know it's a trapezoid, the formula for trapezoid's area is H times base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So, we know one base is 10. We need to find out AD, the other base, and we need to figure out the height. So to figure out the height, we can drop a perpendicular down from B. And we know this interior angle is 30. We know that because of that, that has to be 60. And we know the hypotenuse is 6, so we know the side opposite 30 has to be 3, and the other side has to be 3 root 3. So we know that since this leg is 3, that's the height. Now all we need to do is figure out AD. So if we were to drop a perpendicular from C down to the base, we would get 
10 here, and we would need to figure out what these legs were, or uh, these parts were. So since we know this side is 3 root 3, this side has to be 3 root 3, which means AD has to equal 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3, which is 6 root 3 plus 10. So since that's the case, let's put this together. Height is 3 times base 1 of 10 plus base 2, 6 root 3 plus 10, all divided by 2. Get 3 times 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 6 root 3, divided by 2. We can simplify here. Divide the top by 2, and we get 3 times 10 plus 3 root 3, which is the equivalent of 30 plus 9 root 3, and that's the area. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.